I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna go check out some cool cars. Really? Yes. I'm gonna make soup. Yes, Christmas is coming. It's almost here, right after Christmas, is Wheels and Waves. And so, since Wheels and Waves is coming, we got some preparation. So I'm heading over to meet with my good buddy, Michael Axon, who has some amazing cars. And we're gonna talk about the show. a lot of really interesting cars, including a McLaren. And since I'm taking Malibu Canyon through, I thought I'd show you guys a few things. Really cool brand new church, because the other one burned down. Top secret GM test facility. Lots of Indian caves everywhere. Really cool red rocks. Really spectacular views, like this. And a long drop like that. The Malibu Tunnel. This is the site of the Pink Lady, or what's left of her. Penitentiary for really nasty young kids. East Indian Monastery for no particular reason. The entrance to Mulholland Highway, which we're not taking. Gorgeous land, soon to be destroyed for more condos. The neighborhood where they shot E.T. Right up there. Whole new on-ramp that wasn't here the last time I was here. And that wasn't that long ago. And cool cars. Yeah. It's a little too rainy and dirty out right now, so we're gonna take Michael's Range Rover. There's Michael. Look, it's Michael. Hey, how's it going, Fireball? We're gonna go and have lunch. We're gonna go to, what is it, Jinkies? Jinkies. Really yeah. good food. Now, we have a contrast because I'm vegetarian and Michael isn't. But we need to find a balance. I like meat. Oh. <laughs> Although we did have a very interesting vegetarian conversation not too long ago. We did. A very interesting conversation, yeah. yeah. Your Range Rover is this? 16, I think. Beautiful. 16. Awesome Range Rover. Michael's got lots of very cool toys. But today we're driving this. Okay, great time talking with Michael about wheels and waves. Got a lot of you know, really cool stuff planned. But one thing's for sure, this show is shaping up to be freaking awesome. Smells like Christine, baby. A little creepy. He's driving around down PCH, minding my own business, and there is parked Christine. Nobody bothering her. I think she was sleeping, actually. Don't want to be bothering a beautiful lady while she's sleeping.
it's literally the next day. Yesterday, uh, after I had lunch with Michael, there wasn't a lot going on to spend the day working. So I decided today I'm going to kind of continue uh, the vlog because I'm headed up to the Murphy Museum for an open house. And there's always cool stuff to look at. Still driving the 2017 XC60 Volvo. But it's a spectacular day. I'm almost there. But the views are just outrageous. Check this out. Once again, at the Murphy Museum, they got all kinds of new stuff. Look, an Excalibur, 1980. Five foot, 212. Something like that. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. David Neal from the Murphy Automotive Museum. What are we doing? Okay, this is our annual Cars and Christmas. Uh, it's a public open house from uh, one o'clock to four o'clock today, which will be yesterday or the day before by the time they see this. But uh, it's what we do to raise uh, uh, toys and uh, food for some worthy causes. Uh -huh. We do it every year about this time, so maybe next year folks can come and help us out. Absolutely. Yeah. Having a, kind of a private lunch right now, mm -hmm. and then it's open to the public at one. Yes, that's okay. correct. So before the public open house, we have our annual appreciation for donors and docents. We do a luncheon to thank them for helping out. As you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know more than anybody, museums are run by donors and docents. You bet. If you don't have both of those, then you're not in the museum business. Like that guy. Come here, like you. Like that guy. A good looking guy. <laughs> we call him Shorty around here. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today I don't wear my high heels. So that's why. Next month, I'm gonna get this beast. Oh yeah. David just told me that there's a really beautiful 62 Chevy truck over here with a camper shell on the back. I think I see it. 90,000 original miles. <laughs> I got you now. I got you now. Fireball. <laughs> Bye, Mark. See you later. I'll talk to you soon. The people in this museum are nuts. 
but it's very cool. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a to her You better keep it sealed Don't you dare say a single word Or I will strike you where it feels That was cool. That was cool. Um, you know, hanging out with the guys at the Murphy Museum, there's always some interesting people that show up at these events. You get to talking about cars, you find out that someone owns a dealership or someone has another car show. There's just car shows happening everywhere. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Big thanks once again to David Neal for having me up, uh, inviting me to this luncheon. Uh, you know, he appreciates what people do for him uh, so eloquently. He does a great job at the museum and expresses that to people. And that's the secret, you know, the secret to success. It's just about being grateful for the things you have and then more stuff comes like this. I bet you're looking to know what's in here. So am I. You know, it's it's one thing to kind of guess, but then there's the aroma, the aroma that shows up and it can only come from Sarkeesian. Deborah, you are awesome. Uh, Sarkeesian is up in Big Bear, right next to Santa's Village, not that far from Santa's Village. So now you got two reasons to go up to Santa's Village. You go there and then while you're up there, uh, get a cup of coffee. Cinnamon hazelnut, Colombian Supreme, chocolate macadamia, my favorite! It's like a big coffee pillow. Oh. Okay, so, you know, I had some interesting conversations yesterday. Um, you know, people are, are having a, a difficult time uh, struggling at, in, during the holidays. You know, with not enough money to buy gifts, not enough time, not enough uh, love going on in the world. It's difficult to kind of get your head around is that somehow something out there is going to solve your problem. If you just make more money, if you just get rid of this person, and you know what? It just never does. There's, there's no thing outside of you that is going to solve your problem. Because you can't take an action on something you haven't thought of. Thought comes first, then the action. So you got to see that. And, and that thought is, it's about making the right choices. Do I want to think about this and feel like crap? Or do I want to think about this and feel good? People say, well, how can I not think about this thing? It's right in front of my face. It's, it's giving me a hard time. It's just blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, it's, it's really tough. And it is tough if you focus on it. You're not trying to deny what's going on. You're not trying to deny the difficulty or the things that people say to you that may hurt your feelings. What you're trying to do, as they say in martial arts, is to parry. Let it go. Out of the way. Don't get hit by it. You hit yourself by focusing on it. Focus on the good, you get the good. You gotta remember this, people. You gotta remember this. There's so many good things. You can focus on your kids, you can focus on your animals, you can focus on the joys of Christmas, you can focus on the beauty. There's all kinds of great things in this world. Billions of great things in this world that you can focus on. You just gotta choose to do that. What are you doing? Focus on the good, and you get the good. Focus on the good, and you get the good. Remember I said that. Like this coffee. Focus on the good, you get some really great coffee. Focus on crappy coffee, guess what happens? You get crappy coffee. This is Blog 510. I'm focusing on the good. I love you guys. All kinds of things are cool in life, but you gotta choose it. You gotta pick them. Get out there, pick the good, be good, and be awesome. And then, of course, we'll see you tomorrow.